Hi there and welcome. Thank you for joining me in this course. I can't wait to teach you about the science of public health through the use of computers and information technology. To kick things off, today I'm going to be introducing you to the first advanced computer application course of the ABU DLC. This course is part of the awesome and impressive lineup of courses that master students take in the DLC. It is pretty much one of the most popular courses among students undertaking Masters of Public Health program and God willing, I will be your instructor for this course. My name is Abdul Hakim Abayomi Olorokoba. I am a senior lecturer in the Department of Community Medicine, Amado Bello University, Zaya. I also double as a public health physician in the Amado Bello University Teaching Hospital, Nigeria. My super specialty is in the field of public health informatics. I'm not sure many of you know or have heard of public health informatics before, uh, but that's fine, as I'm sure you will come to hear a little more about this. Today I'll be providing you with a general introduction and an overview of COM 804, which is Advanced Computer Applications in Public Health, right? During my introduction, I will focus on five key areas. The first is the general introduction, okay? A brief course description, and then I'll talk about the course requirements, give you a couple of resources, and hone in on the course structure, okay? Computers and their applications have become an integral part of our lives and have also become an indispensable tool for public health programs and interventions. This course aims to help you to integrate the use of advanced computer applications for your personal tasks, as well as improving your competency to be able to serve efficiently in your role as public health personnel or as public health professionals. The title of this course is Advanced Computer Applications in Public Health. It has a course code of COM 804 and it's taken only in the second semester. It carries a credit load of three credits. Uh, so you can see how important this course is and how important it is for you to do excellently well in this course as three credits is no joke, I'm sure you know. But I'm positive that you will do just that. You will do just fine, God willing. Now this course is made up of 13 study sessions spread across 13 weeks. Now I went through the course forum uh, the other day and I have seen each and every one of uh, your submissions and it's interesting to find out that we have biochemists, microbiologists, lots of people from the medical field, nurses, physiotherapists, doctors, ETC. Such an awesome and diverse group. It's really my utmost pleasure uh, meeting each and every one of you. And I believe that our interaction in this course will be worthwhile and cordial. Now, now this course is uh, designed to provide you with the skills and competency to be able to use uh, the computer to your advantage. This course will also guide you to be able to use the computer to enhance your productivity and make you able to use the computer for a wide range of public health functions. In this course, God willing, you will be introduced to several computer and mobile-based applications of a diverse range of functions. I will be starting this course with one simple assumption, and that assumption is that none of you has any advanced experience with the use of computers, all right? So previous experience is not needed, though it may be helpful. Now, the language of this course is written in a straightforward and succinct manner for students to easily comprehend. Uh, with this course, I will be providing you with a solid basic and background information that will enable you acquire skills that cover the basic requirements for the use of computer applications in data collection, storage, transformation, analysis, interpretation, presentation, communication, and even graphic uh, design in all areas of public health practice. So this course will better equip you with advanced skills that you would require to stand firmly in any public health related field. In your just concluded first semester, you did come 811, which is Biostatistics 1, right? Uh, and you saw some formulas and some calculations. Is that correct? Well, in this course, part of the focus will be on the application of a computer applications to uh, help you in doing this very easily. That course and experience was necessary for you to be able to appreciate the use of computers in your own work. So why should you take this course seriously? Well, it's important that you take this course seriously as currently it's only individuals that have these skills uh, that are employable in high-end companies and big NGOs. As a lot of you guys know and are already probably eyeing some cool jobs with those NGOs. So you need to do this course properly and apply your best so that you can gain maximally from this MPH program. All right. What are the costs? Prerequisites. Now, 
uh, like I alluded to you in the beginning, no prior knowledge of using any computer applications will be required for this course. Though, if you have it, this may be an extra added advantage. The main course requirements are first an online interaction proficiency, right? Uh, you need good access to the internet, you need to the ability to be able to interact with social media content. And then the next thing is a computer, all right? For this course, you will not only need a computer, but you need a very good computer, right? And then you need a smartphone uh, because we'll be working with some smartphone applications, mobile phone applications. You will need at least an Android, simple Android phone for some of our exercises. Lastly, you need software applications. We're going to be working with a lot of software applications and uh, some of them are free, while others uh, you may have to buy, all right? The good news is that for most of this software, if not all of them, there's a trial version that you can use for a couple of weeks, can install them free of charge and use it for the class and even do some training with it uh, before it expires. I will try to keep the lessons short and brief but very practical and at the same time very interesting. All right for this course you will not need any textbook in my own opinion uh, but I will leave you with a list of books and other resources in the description of the video. Uh, your main resource will however be uh, your courseware and the videos that I'll be posting for you from time to time. At the end of this course Every student is expected to know the history of the internet. Very important because a lot of these things are brought to you by the internet. All right. To know the difference between the internet and the World Wide Web. All right. Know the difference between HTTP and FTP. All right. And you have to be competent with the use of various public health software packages, as you will see. And finally, be competent also in the use of CorelDRAW for designing posters for public health activities. Now, what activities will you engage in to meet these course outcomes? First of all, you need to study the course very well. You need to watch relevant course videos. And I'll talk a little more about this in a moment. Uh, you need to do all your course assignments. You have the individual course assignments and then the group course assignments. Participate thoroughly with the forum discussions and also this ex a semester examinations will be CBT based and essay based. Now let me use this opportunity to highlight the aspect of course videos. I will be using YouTube as one of the main means of giving you uh, lectures and interaction as you are watching now. As some of you may ask, why YouTube? Well, this is because it's difficult getting an appropriate time for an online class due to our different work schedules. And also the fact that um, you are doing other courses aside from this course, right? And other instructors or tutors will also be competing for your time as well. And on top of all of this, a lot of people are living in different time zones, okay? Now, based on these highlighted issues, I have decided to take the YouTube route and it has worked very well for me. And please, for the record, I am not making any money out of this, so be rest assured, all right? And also, it's not compulsory for me to actually do any of these videos for you. Right? Uh, but I feel there is a way in which I can help students to pass very well by giving them the best resources and by guiding them. At the same time, please don't be fooled. Don't be fooled that these videos only belong to you guys uh, because I'll tell you for free actually that a lot of people actually benefit from my videos all over the globe. All right. And fortunately with this YouTube channel, I have made whatever I'm saying open to the world. I'm not afraid of anything. All right. Uh, this way, other students and teachers can benefit from anywhere they are on the globe. And in addition, other scholars can see my works and make comments that would correct or improve my delivery as well as the contents that I'm providing. Well, the next question will now be, why not upload to the LMS? Yes, the LMS has an amazing capacity to actually take videos. However, since the videos that I'll be providing for you will be very useful for you even after your program, uh, if these videos are on the LMS, you no longer will have access to LMS after you are graduated and that's going to be some problem. All right. Lastly, the video files that I upload are actually very heavy and since I mostly shoot and I upload in Ultra HD 4K. All right. So if you know how to change your YouTube settings, ju just check this video and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. With all being said, hopefully we will still try to get a chance uh, to have a couple of live um, lectures so we can get to know each other more. All right. But the bottom line is that you will need uh, to learn how to use and interact with YouTube very well. So please make sure you have subscribed to this YouTube channel and click on all notifications. This way you will be notified if uh, there are any new videos and you won't miss out, especially when the semester becomes very busy. And believe me, it gets very busy very quickly. Now, listen very well. Listen carefully, folks. For every video that I post for this course, you will be required to do four important things. The first is give a thumbs up to the video. Very important. All right. Secondly, 
make a comment or ask a question and you know this is also important all right thirdly share this video with friends and families and i shouldn't be telling you how important this is because sharing is caring right and ultimately please do the quiz at the end of each video now it is really important that you do all of these four things as i will take it as a virtual attendance i repeat i will take it as a virtual attendance uh, uh, because this is the only rubric that i can use to know your level of participation and this will help me to improve on the course now starting from this video let's see how you can practicalize some of these things now i would like to end this with a question and i'm sure by now you know where to put your responses right if you were given ten thousand dollars for example to buy a computer and a software of your choice what kind of computer would you buy and what software will you buy please put your answers in the comment section below uh, this will give me a sense of what i need to do to tackle this course Alrighty, thank you for joining me in this course i can't wait to teach you about the science of public health through the use of computers and information technology and i want to use this opportunity to welcome you to this semester and this course and i wish you an enjoyable and successful mph program with the abu dlc see you during our lectures but until then peace